Hey everyone, welcome back. Our last guest is a Latin Grammy award-winning percussionist, composer, and arranger from Colombia, who's always been drawn to the rhythms of different musical styles uh, throughout his career. He's had the opportunity to tour with Grammy Award winner Arturo Sandoval and play with Poncho Sanchez and the late Tito Puente, amongst many others. And uh, well, today he's joining us uh, to share more, I guess, of, of his newfound uh, studio at home. <laughs> Please welcome Latin Grammy winner Samuel Torres. Hola. Hola, como estas? Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, we're so happy to have you. And uh, you know, I make light of the situation because we're all living in these uh, in these new arrangements of of basically having to make do with our living environment and. Uh, based on the fact that you are a, a composer and arranger, I, I just wondered, like, what life looks like for you in your newfound studio. Well, I spend a lot of time here in my studio writing the music, listening to music, but uh, I've been very lucky. Unfortunately, there's been a small places where we're beginning to put music outside with everybody social distance and with masks. So we are beginning to play in some places outside the city. Yeah, city. I noticed that you uh, actually are doing like duets in Brooklyn somewhere, right? Yeah, we were doing some duets in Williamsburg in a friend's restaurant, uh, keeping all our uh, distance, social distance. But it's very important to bring music to the community. Music, it's very important for our souls and live music is irreplace irreplaceable. So it's very important to do it. I agree, and um, it's wonderful that you've finally been able to get out and play it, you know, for people, right? Because it's different. It's one thing to play it in studio, and it's another thing to have the response of an actual live being. And so I wanted to share with everyone how many instruments you play. Wow. I Let's say I'm basically a hand percussionist, so my main instrument is the, the congas. The original name is the tumbadoras from Cuba but I play different percussion instruments. I love to play the kalimba, that it's a beautiful instrument from uh, Africa. Yes, let's talk about the kalimba because I, I believe we have some footage and I found it to be a very fascinating instrument. I was, I was like, oh, what is this? I've never seen it. So can you just share a little bit about that instrument and what drew you to decide to learn how to play it? Well, I saw a great musician that I used to work with, Richard Bona, playing it, and I just fell in love with it. And then I had the opportunity to get one kalimba while I was on tour in Budapest, and it became my companionship. I was using to meditate, basically, while I was on tour. And then one musician saw me doing it and said, like, why don't you do this on the stage? And I began to play the kalimba. The kalimba comes from Africa, from the tradition of West Central Africa, and it became really famous worldwide, especially when it got uh, performed by Earth, Wind and Fire in one of their hits in the 70s. And I remember you mentioning something about uh, you using it for meditation. Um, I, you also shared that there's a community that uses that instrument more frequently. Uh, I've never seen it, but it, the sounds are so soothing. Yeah, a lot of people use it for meditation. There's a great playlist of kalimba music on YouTube, and you can search for meditation music. It's a beautiful instrument, and it's like a, one of these new instruments developed in the 20th century. And, and your, um, I guess your, your, skills co your skill set comes from being able to play the piano? Yeah, I think it's, piano is like a, very important for any musicians. Because in the piano, first you have 10 instruments at the same time. So you can play 10 notes at the same time. And you have the whole range from the higher notes to the lower notes. So basically that you have the whole orchestra in your fingers. So for, I'm not a piano player, but as a composer, it's very important to play the piano and understand this language. And so before we go, because uh, I know you're going to uh, perform a, a beautiful percussion uh, solo for us. Let's just share with everyone where they can go see you play live in Williamsburg. Well, in Williamsburg, uh, they were, we were doing it in a restaurant called Pates and Traditions. Uh, we're doing a series of music also in Tribeca in a restaurant called 1803. We are there uh, in August. We're going to be two days. Also, you can see us playing live in Terraza 7 in Queens. Uh, so they're beginning to program live music and live jazz in, in, in the street. 
All right, so you're getting out there and enjoying the sun while, uh, of course, enjoying the live sounds of your instruments and, and being around people, awesome. Thank you, thank you. That's the idea. The idea, the idea, like you said before, we can play by ourselves, but the most important is to share it with the community. All right, so um, last thing, uh, I, I know that you produce some music, uh, Alegria, where can people find your music if they can't find you in person? Well, they can search all uh, my music on the social media and the streaming services in Spotify, Apple Music. They can search uh, for Samuel Torres, Samuel Torres. They, could f they will find there my five recordings and especially the, the most recent one, Alegría. Beautiful, bueno. Gracias, maestro. Gracias a ustedes and thanks for the invitation. I hope to see everyone soon. Awesome. All right, you guys, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, Samuel Torres is going to perform for us. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 